What about Paimon? Okay. All right, then. Let us begin. What about Paimon? Question mark. Yeah. Um, Paimon is um an anomaly in the Matrix. Recognizes that Paimon might not be human at all. Red scene? Oh yeah, red scene. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh, now, now that's a big cart. <laughs> what are we going to do? Oh, she's, she's, wait, she's going straight inside? Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow. Uh, so the fact that it is, it is raining, uh, depth of energy or stuff, or rain or whatever, is what is going to nurse back spirit veins back to health? Oh, no? uh, it's his virgin. Bit sis, where did she go? Do you still not understand? She used all the energy she accumulated recently to nurse the land. Wait, that's the chase. That mean? Yes, it is as you suspect. But she struggled so hard to. Though we have now finished nursing the soil and water, the miasma that. Remains will not disappear immediately, so you will have to be careful out there. Huh? Sorry for making you all see me like this. It is just as uh, Ling Yuan said. I've completely used up the energy I accumulated recently. And I can no longer maintain my favorite form. Ah, uh, I'm on for, I'm on for that. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just glad you're still here. That persuasion seriously the lean one. What about me? Uh, she wasn't entirely wrong, Paimon. Though my form is as it has become, I am far more comfortable than before. First I was trapped at Cop's Rest, and could only reminisce about the outside world through the scent of the tea offerings. If I had not met you and Paimon, though such compatibility with the spirit veins, I would have had none but my shadow to talk to. I should best be able to leave Cobb's rest. Thank you for your concern. Please forgive me, but I must depart now. I'll need a bit of, re bit of rest. And another thing, Lin Yuan? Peach, what else would you have me do, or not do? Nothing. I just didn't get to say this due to the, the circumstances that prevailed before, but but it's so good to see you again. I know. Aww. That's sweet. Thank you all. Huh? Where did that one come from? I should thank you for bringing her back. Safe. Move and slippery. Even the way in which her fins move is the same as I remember. You sure have a strange way of remembering people, or fish, whichever. I do not know how you did it, nor why you were able to obtain her adaptable energy all these thousands of years, and I never once heard her voice. Might be due to the mole's, uh, Neat constitution. I see. However, I am but a foolish beast. Even if I wanted to see her again, I would not know of a better way. I could only spend thousands of years clumsily imitating her methods, adulating the spirit veins in this land. I am quite stupid. I am quite stupid, and I only knew this method. So I did it. It was akin to scooping every do droplet from a rushing river, or every grain of sand from the vast desert. 
I knew as well that she would not smile as she once did, even if these mountains returned to how they once were. She and I and the snake once laughed and swam happily here. Those days will never come again. We don't know. Uh, she loved humanity too much, even more than she loves herself. If I succeeded, she would only hate me. But that would, but that would have not mattered to me, so long as she could regain her form and swim free. Well, and Paimon thought you were more concerned about nature. Foresight here. A land untamed by humans. A land of wild beasts. That is a different subject from the matter of Fujin. If she thinks that a land tamed by humans is better, and that strange tea leaves grow on such land taste superior, shall do what pleases her. So, oh, thank you. Um, you're welcome. Well, speaking of that, I was curious. What did the tea leaves taste like in the past? When the land changed before, the tea leaves flavor was much closer to what it was in the past, apart from some differences due to human influence. Wait, so you mean, so you mean that the weirdly flavored tea cheats we had were... In that case, I prefer the current flavor profile. He leaves cultivated by humanity will be more to their liking, of course. What I do not understand is Fujin's tastes. If the snake was here, we could ask her. We could, well, wait, wait. If the snake was here, we could ask for her opinion. But perhaps her tastes have also become strange from spending so much time with humans. Before you do, before you, before you draw them all, I have one final question for you. Those that come from nature will, for some reason, go against nature, against the laws nature originally followed. Will humans also go against humanity, against the they initially followed for certain reasons? <laughs> so let me, uh, let me try to understand that one. Will humans also go? against humanity, against the principles they initially followed for certain reasons. Mm. They could, honestly. But, but I'd like to think that they wouldn't. But and in any case, yeah, that depends on the circumstances. You may as well have just said yes. Thank you. I have received the answer I desired. Well then, Lizumao, Nimal and Paimon, we shall meet again. Yeah, I know. I'll have to I'll have to beat you um as a weekly boss. Alright then, see you later, Bluey. Also, remember to take care of Bits Fujin. She seems kinda weak right now, so she could use some extra care. I will. Farewell. Please wait, Lingron. I have a question for you as well. Ask then, I do owe you that. If human activities are part of the laws of nature, how would you view humanity? Strange question. In the distant past, they were indeed part of nature, but they are so no longer. That is because... No. I need to give this question more thought. Next time we meet, I will give you my answer. What happened in the past? Want to know? Where? It is destroyed everywhere. The uh, echoes. Uh, the Argon War. Conria Cataclysm. Happened 500 years ago. 
This place is pretty dead. By which I mean, there's nothing to kill. Who's that? Um, said they said the um, herb lord. Uh, Ling Yuan and Virgin trying to to protect this place. I mean, catch and kill as they can. Wasn't enough though. I mean, maybe it was enough, but uh, let's say Shan Shan, Shan Shen actually uh, moved to Harbor and uh, hatched. Hatched be a strong word, but stayed with uh, Doctor Baishu. Now she's living there. Virgin used a lot of her adaptable powers and had to go back I don't know, house rest or something. In order to replenish the adaptable power that she used to heal back the land. Well. And now the follow-up with that quest is uh, is going to be uh, the the impact that this is going to have population. I think it is that way. <laughs>